and welcome back thanks so much for stopping by today i'm going to do a fun video i'm going to review the new kat von d everlasting glimmer veil liquid lipsticks this is the first glitter liquid lipstick that i will be trying and typically as you guys know i do my reviews in a one minute review format that's kind of like my specialty here on youtube um i've gotten it down pretty pat so if you're into really quick kind of down and dirty demos and reviews you should definitely go check out my one minute reviews i have tons of products on there that i have reviewed so if you're into that you should definitely go check that out but i kind of wanted to switch it up today and try just doing a regular review and using these liquid lipsticks but basically i saw them and i wanted to give them a try and i wanted to share with you how they work so i got two colors i got what's this one called satellite which is the light blue shade i kind of wanted to get um like kind of a funky color that i wouldn't normally wear and then the most wearable shade that i found on the website is thunderstruck and this is like a champagne kind of gold really really pretty i swatched them on my hand which i'll show you and both of them have pretty decent pigment um it looks like it's possible that they may be a little patchy and a little chunky, so I'm really interested to see how they look on the lips. But basically, I will show you how they look just on my regular lips, and I will also show you how they look over another lipstick. So let's just get into actually swatching them. That's what you guys want to see. So let's see. Um, I'll show you. This is what they look like. So this is the blue one is satellite and the gold champagne one is thunderstruck so as you can see they're very pretty they're very reflective but um this one especially thunderstruck is a bit patchy so i'm definitely interested to see they work and show up on the lips okay so i'm going to start with the lighter shade which is thunderstruck and i really like this packaging i think it's so neat the everlasting type is transparent so you can see the product through the typing which I think is a really cool little feature. And Kat Von D always, I find, has pretty good packaging. Um, it feels sturdy, it feels high quality. And what I noticed about the applicator is that it has a little divot in it, so it shapes to the lip a little bit more, which I also interestingly noticed about um, Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, so that's kind of funny, but I do really enjoy it because it just cushions the lip and makes application really easy. So let's dive in with Thunderstruck. Okay, so that is one layer. I'm gonna dunk back in for the top lip. It feels really, really wet, um, but also a little sticky at the same time. Gotta turn off the AC, hang on. Okay, so I just turned the AC way up for warmer, so that sound you hear in the background should go away shortly. But that is the top lip, and it is starting to dry already. And as you can see, it's transferring to the top. Okay, so that is Thunderstruck just on a naked lip. And it is very reflective. It's actually a gorgeous color. It's like a gold champagne um, and the glitter is definitely there you can really see it it's not as patchy as I thought it was gonna be I think the glitter kind of conceals any any patchiness and it it looks pretty smooth I would say it feels like a traditional liquid lipstick it's not the most comfortable thing to wear on the lips it definitely feels a little bit drying a little bit sticky uh, but not any worse than a, a traditional liquid lipstick so that's totally fine it's drying i'm really pleased with how quickly it's drying like it's already almost completely transfer proof that is really really nice transfer proof um usually with any liquid lipstick i have to wipe off the top layer first or kind of blot off the top layer in order for it to set and not transfer but this is already basically completely transfer proof with the exception of a few glitter particles. So that is awesome. But that is the first color.
Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this off and try it over a uh, lipstick. So I'm kind of interested to see how the removal process... Oh, it's not bad. Okay, so I really don't use bullet lipsticks very much anymore. Um, so I just grabbed Shocking Coral by... What is this? Maybelline, I think? And I'm just going to apply that. Okay, so that is just a regular bullet lipstick, so we're going to see how this looks over top. That is really pretty. I really like how this product goes over lipsticks. It like gave it this just super, it just enhanced the color. So it didn't completely cover the color or conceal it, but it just made it like a really iridescent and shiny and glittery. This is kind of what I envision that Jeffree Star's Sweet Tooth is gonna look like actually. The lip topper he's doing with Jouer Cosmetics because it's like a pink with a super super glittery top so I wonder if this is kind of what it's gonna look like but I really like how this looks. It's super fun. I could see myself wearing this to like a festival or a concert or anything like that. I bet this could also double as a really fun eyeliner if you wanted to try it that way too. But I like it, it's comfortable over a lipstick. If you, I don't know if you can see, see, but it's like, it definitely separating a little in there. Um, so I don't know how these two products mesh together, if it's a perfect fit, but I don't think it's too bad, and I think overall the effect is pretty cool. Very comfortable as well. Um, let's check the transfer. Yeah, so definitely a lot more transfer when you put it over a bullet lipstick. Okay, so now we're going to jump to Satellite, which is the really super light blue. Looks super fun. Wow, that is insanely pigmented. So this is very impressive. Sorry if it, that line right there is a little messed up, but this is like full opaque glitter coverage. Like it almost looks like you put on one of those um, lip tattoos. Crazy, crazy, crazy impressive. Very, very glittery. Now this isn't a color I feel like looks especially good on me, but it is a lot of fun, that's for sure. Definitely is a little bit of a stickiness. The glittery does add that stickiness to it. Um, just to keep in mind. Again, wow, I, this has literally been a second. No transfer. That's amazing. No transfer at all. So you really don't have to put this over another color. In fact, if I put, if I did put it over another color, I doubt you'd be able to see the color underneath at all. But just for the sake of the video, let's give it a try and see how it performs. So if you want a really natural, I'm deceased look, wipe off this lipstick because you are going to get that. This, guys, is it's completely wiped off. This is how bad it stained. Ooh, that's, that's not cool. Um, not that, I mean, not that it matters that much. I'll let you guys know when I actually try to remo remove this with makeup remover how well it removes because I definitely don't want to have blue lips for the next couple days. So I'll leave that down below. But that is a downfall because that's a lot of staining. But let's put it on, uh, over a color. I'm going to choose, this is also Kat Von D. She doesn't, I don't even know if she makes these studded kiss lipsticks anymore. But this is in the shade Agatha. It's the lightest, like, flesh tone color. Oh, boy. That is looking massively bad over my blue lips. I never really liked this formula, to be honest, of, of this lipstick here. Uh, it's chunky. It's probably why I never use it. <sighs> that, like, could not look any worse if I tried. So we're just going to slather some of this liquid lipstick over it and hope that it improves.
I mean, kind of like I thought, it, you can't really, you can't really see the color peeking through very much. It may have lightened the blue a little bit, but it's also sitting extremely weird. And I don't know if that's from using the makeup removing wipe or if that's from the lipstick, but like, see how dark it is all in there? I didn't have that problem before using the lipstick. So this one might not work as well over a traditional bullet lipstick. You might need to put it over something a little smoother and a little less textured. But I mean, it feels pretty good and it looks fun. Let's try the transfer. Again, definitely transfers when you have it over that creamy formula. Okay guys, so that completes my review of the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick Everlasting Glimmer Veils. Overall impressions, these are a very fun product. They're very unique. They're extremely pigmented, extremely glittery, and eye-catching. So I think for the right setting, this could be like absolutely eye-catching and really, really neat. And I would certainly wear them, again, you know, on a holiday or a fun thing. Or if you want to just, if you just want to wear them as like a daily thing, you could totally do that too. I think they're lots of fun. The first one I think I preferred the lighter shade it was a little bit more wearable a little bit more my speed and I felt that it was a bit more comfortable and it didn't stain the lips the light blue satellite stained the lips really really intensely so I would probably think twice before wearing it unless I knew that I would have time to really scrub that product off and make sure I didn't have purple lips left behind you know overall <sighs> I think I probably would not repurchase this like I don't certain products I buy and I'm so in love with I immediately go to the store go to the store and stock up on every single shade I'm not gonna do that with these I think they're like I keep on saying and a million times I've said it I think they're very fun and I think they're very neat and high quality and the coverage is there and the pigment is there they're just not something I would probably get enough use out of to spend the money, if that makes sense. But with that said, it's it's a nice product. If this is something you're in the market for, I highly recommend these. Kat Von D is an awesome brand because she's completely cruelty-free, completely vegan, and so her stuff is just awesome in that way. But yeah, yeah, that is my review. I really hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this departure from my one minute reviews. I definitely love my one minute reviews and that's probably what I'll stick to for the most part. But once in a while, it's fun to just sit down and actually talk about the product while I'm putting it on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.